All right, guys, I've got uh, an opportunity in the shop today to show you how to um, cause yourself a lot of problems on a 7.3 liter. There's two major problems that uh, this installer did when installing a 7.3 liter engine. Um, when you receive most 7.3s, they don't come with oil pans because the front cover as well has to be installed before the oil pan. And typically, uh, when you ship these things, those oil pans are stamp pans that love to get crushed. And um, by the time it gets there, sometimes it's pretty, pretty banged up. But typically, most 7.3s will come uh, without the oil pan. So it's up to you to install the pickup tube. What I want to show you today is the reason why the customer had low oil pressure. This engine came to us, came back to us, and uh, anyways, it ran beautifully, but it would get low oil pressure. Uh, you know, it would have low oil pressure after it would run and get up to operating temperature. Uh, the oil pressure would drop and uh, couldn't get it to come back. And they replaced everything on it, um, everything on the high side, still couldn't figure out what was going on on it. They just assumed that there was a crack in the block or something else that was going on. So come in a little closer and let me show you what the problem with it is. This is the design that Ford uh, or International actually used. And this uh, little gasket was responsible for making sure that your oil came from your pan all the way up through your front cover and into uh, all the necessary places for the oil pump and everything. But what happens is there's a pocket right here that you can see. That pocket is supposed to house this gasket. As you can see, it doesn't fit in there anymore. What actually was happening is it was this side that was closest to the flywheel. It was compressed. This side was hanging out. The reason why this happened is because when a guy gets a pickup tube like this, the 7.3 is different than um, any other pickup truck engine like that um, because it has this bracket that is mounted to this stud and this bracket has a bolt here. This is adjustable. The problem is that when this gets bolted down, this guy was taking and, and I can tell you that he was taking it and the way he installed it was he ran this bolt down first that's on the stud. And then after the nut was ran down, see that gap all the way around here? That gap, no bolt in the world is gonna draw that in because it's gonna wind up compressing on the back side before it comes and compresses the front side. So what happens is, is the O-ring kept blowing out after you would install it, but it was sucking air because you couldn't see it. Look at the back side. Look how well compressed it is on the back side. Can you see how that's mashed down on the back? That's the reason why our gasket made that imprint. So this guy caused himself and us and everybody, I'm sure, I know he wanted his truck back, a lot of problems. Now, how do you fix this? The correct way to fix this, and it's very simple, the easiest way to do this is do not fasten this down first. And most guys will go, well, no, 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 I didn't do that. I, I tightened this down first. The fact of it is, is even if you'd, have, if you'd have tried to tighten this down here, this never would have seated all the way. Um, and, the, and the gasket wouldn't have been the proof of that, but the gasket was left showing the evidence. So what you want to do is loosen that up where this isn't tight, and then install this portion here. And what'll happen is that if I was to push down and I was to make this level out, check this out. If I was to make this level out, it's almost impossible to do it as it sits. This, I can't even get that stud. Look at that. Here, I can't even get the stud to line up in the hole itself. See how misaligned that is? And the reason why that is, is because again, this was bolted down first and then this. So loosen this up where it'll fall into place, tighten this side up first, okay? And then adjust this so that it'll sit down. And what you want is flush all the way around so that you're not compromising that gasket. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself sucking air, losing oil pressure, and causing a lot of problems that you just don't wanna have. All right, so these are some good install tips for the guys for the 7.3. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please comment. Tell us what your problems are, maybe that you might have experienced uh, when you were installing. There's another video that I'm also going to post about this that is another huge problem. Catch us on the next one, and I'll show you exactly where you messed up and what it could have caused engine damage again on the installation. Thanks for watching.